through the island through a spell. Now, you're probably wondering, how are we going to reverse this? Well, honestly, I honestly don't know. Because, as we see here, we got this item, but we can only get it through, uh, oh, <laughs> there, there we go. Uh, we can only get it from completing the quest. November 19th, uh, Alright, Reverse Evil Tusk Dark Kingdom Spell, which is basically what you've been seeing all this time. Next up, November 21st, November 23rd, November 25th, November 27th, and finally, November 29th, we'll defeat Evil Plug and change all of this back. So, why not we go explore around the island? Much better. That is much better. We don't need that on anymore. I was only doing that just to show you around that. Oh! Frick! Forgot about the sign. Oh, also, we can turn up the volume again. Alright, I'll also fix that in just a second. Oh yeah, I also know it's only two minutes till midnight, I already know that. Alright, so, uh, oh yeah, I also forgot, some rooms aren't even updated yet, because, um, didn't have enough time to, uh, put them in. I'll put them in tomorrow, though. Anyway, guys, look at this. We have... November 19th through December 3rd is indeed the medieval part. Oh, also, I should take off the stuff because it's not that day anymore. Also, ah, uh, I don't need this. So, yeah, you're probably wondering, how the heck are we going to reverse this whole thing? Before I do, let's actually go explore around what Evil Fuck did. Um, and then we'll go to the medieval kingdom for last. Yeah, that feels weird not having anything on. Alright, so yeah, as you can see, he's uh, done some pretty good damage. Or just anything. He's done something. I swear there used to be something. Oh yeah, that's also the Dark Medieval Banner. If any of you are curious, we're not able to get that to the last quest. Uh, but yeah, let's go take a look and see what he did. My god, he did a lot! And also, get the frig out of here! There we go! And that also goes for you! Bye bye! Oh, and also, by the time this event ends, the advent calendar will be here. Cool, right? Also, let's go sleep. Well, I'm surprised he didn't change my bed. What? How did that, did that happen? I literally just slept there, and then it automatically changed. Looks like you forgot to add that in. Clever, Evil Cluck. The point is, let's take a look. Yeah, he really did change it around here. He really changed everything. My god, he really changed everything down here. Yeah, look at this. Everything was changed. Yeah, everything has changed in the event room. And nothing that would happen. Yeah, look at that. And no, I don't think there's anything down there. Yeah, look at this. You really changed everything. It used to be my own kingdom. Look what he did to it! He destroyed it! He changed it into something completely different. I gotta say, that's actually pretty freaking cool. Oh, also, I don't need my headset on anymore. Um, yeah, that actually now feels weird not to have it. 
Yeah, yeah, we'll go there later. Yeah, we have the quest to do. Yeah, take a look what he did. He did some pretty big changes. Oh yeah, that also has to be updated too. And of course up there too. Yeah, this all used to be cobblestone and just the white castle stuff, but no, he changed it into the Dark Kingdom. He changed whatever I made into his own. That is actually impressive. I don't think there's anything here, right? Nope, there's nothing here. Nope, I do know he changed all this, though. Oh, yeah, also, take a look at the, uh, the ground, actually. What do you guys think? I designed that myself. Yep, take a look at that. I designed that myself. Yeah, it truly feels like we're in the medieval era. Wait a minute. You know what would make this look so much cooler? One sec. I'm gonna design this myself. It would make this look so much cooler. It would be so much cooler if I added this in. That's much better. Makes it truly feel like we're in the medieval era. Yeah, this is crazy. And I thought last year we were doing that. Yeah, last year we were in the medieval era. Well, we still are. It's just... It looks different. I might add a little more to um, the medieval era here. Yeah, I might add that in. One sec, let me add actually a little bit more into this. It's kind of plain boring. Yeah, let's add a little bit more in. Much better. It's more medieval theme now. Yeah, this is crazy. Look how much was changed. Wow. Anyway, let's uh, let's head down to the resort and see how much that got changed. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be uh. If he changed, it really is changed. Thank God. Well, I added the uh, grass path, yet I added that in. The rest was all done by Evil Cluck. Yep, I added in all the grass paths. Yeah, if you're wondering, I did all of the, uh, you know, the grass path. But the rest was done by Evil Cluck. No, I'm actually serious. Yeah, he really did some damage. He really changed everything. That's still crazy to believe. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's also now Friday. Nice. Hey, at least I filmed this on the right day. God, he did so much. No, actually, why don't we update all of this? Really make it look like the medieval ages. That would be cool. That's why I'm doing it.
Yeah, that looks much better than- Yeah, that looks much better than before. Trust me, that looks way better. And now I think we're truly in the medieval age. I mean, look at it! It looks cool, right? I know, it looks so cool, doesn't it? Doesn't it look so cool? My god, we did so much. And look up here! This was also changed too. Yep, all the grass caps. Yeah, you know what I'm standing on. That was all added by me, obviously. I added that in. The rest was again by Evil Clock. And yes, I did leave the sign there because I didn't want to tear it down and redo it again. That would take a while. Oh yeah, this is dark too. Yeah, take a look how dark this is. This is crazy how much has really been put in. For a medieval event, I thought it would look... Like... It looks much better than I thought. Even though we gotta reverse all of this. Going inside, and we can, you know, uh, clearly see. You can uh, clearly see that uh, he really did change it up. I'm surprised he didn't affect these. That's weird. I'm pretty sure he probably did. Alright, moving on upstairs. We also did this too. Yeah, he also did. Yeah, this is crazy, the amount of things he did in one single night to the island. It's just crazy. You know, there used to be, like, other, like, castle structures up here. In the construction. Why aren't they up here? You know what? Let me add some. Much better. Much better. That is so much better. Now it actually feels decorated. Also, while building... Apparently, it changed whatever I did to, well, the current thing. So it had to be changed to look like this. Thank you, Evil Cluck. Why must you do this? Oh, wait, again, right, I'd put him in this. But I thought it would be cool, come on, I thought it would be cool to put him in this. It looks more interesting that way. Actually, does it? I wanna know. So yeah, I did actually put in more of uh, these. The more of the castle structures to make it actually look, you know, medieval themed around here. Also, once the uh, spell is gone, you'll see what everything is meant to look like. But yeah, this already looks great, right? Anyway, the last place is, of course, the village. Also, perfect time to, uh, you know, sleep. So go in here, for example. Yes, I know, you can already see the tons amount of differences that he made. So, uh, yeah, take a look. It's actually crazy, right? This is all here. My god, look at the amount of differences that has happened to the village. This is what it's meant to look like for the medieval party this year. Yeah, this is actually how it's supposed to look like for this year. He literally changed it all. And that's crazy. Let's go inside. And yes, this is literally how the room looks. I ain't even joking. This is how he changed it. To make it look cooler. Which honestly, I gotta agree, all these rooms look really cool. Honestly, it does look much better than the uh, way I had it. But still, we gotta still reverse this spell before it permanently is here on the island. We have until December 3rd to reverse the spell. 
Which, by the way, uh, that is now in uh, 13 days as we speak. So, yep, yeah, that's really it for this rail. I bet he doesn't like that it's all reverse. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to mention in here. Yep, yeah, this is updated. Go in here. Yep, yeah, this is updated too. This is crazy the amount of things you put in here. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 get back here, villager. I need to put one in the library. Just realized that one's gone. Actually. Yeah, this is how this looks. It's great, right? No, oh, it's crazy the amount of things Evil Cook did to these rooms. Impressed? Alright, next. Uh, actually, that's all the rooms. For now, at least. For now, until I get all the other ones up. Which will probably be actually more rooms will be added as time goes on. So what about the quest? You might ask. Well, I honestly have no idea. Do we just randomly to like change all the banners back? Oh wait, wow, hold on. I did say we would go to the medieval kingdom. Now, let's go. Oh wait, crap! We get entry below. Obviously. God dang it! Sends me to the Yeah! Oh wow, it actually goes for this one! It actually goes for that one! Nice! Now let's head over there. Alright, here we are in the Medieval Kingdom, guys. Yep, here it is! The Medieval Kingdom. Yay! Because this is accessible during the party. Yep, just like last year. And this was actually the main part of last year. My god, look at all the differences! Compared to the island now. Yep, you're actually able to come to the Medieval Kingdom during this party and collect all the items. Uh, the Enchanted Helmet, though? Actually, that's actually now available today on the 20th. So that's perfect. Wait, is this called? Yep, the Medieval Market. Okay, I was wondering, I was trying to remember what the name of this was. Because I haven't been here in a while. Yeah, the blacksmith area. Yeah, remember all of this? And yes, I am still wearing the armor from over a year ago. Don't think I'm ever going to take that off, though. God, this place is crazy. I completely forget what this place normally looks like because I don't come here really anymore. No, like seriously, I don't really come here anymore. Only when special occasions like this. Well, now it's the medieval party, so of course, why would I not reopen this world? It's obvious I would. And I think I already confirmed it to you ages ago, most likely. I don't know, I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure I did confirm to you that the medieval kingdom would be open again. I mean, why wouldn't it be? It's called the medieval kingdom for a reason. I'm just reach touring you around these rooms because it's been a while since you've seen them. Yep, the pumpkin patch. Oh yeah, I remember all the enchanted banners. By the way, the medieval banner and enchanted banner, both of those are items, but they are not available yet. And no, they're not available here. Only the enchanted armor. The uh, medieval banner and then the enchanted banner are both available on the island right after we complete all the quests as daily items leading up to the party's end date, December 3rd. So yeah, we could literally just go down here and do um, all the challenges from like last year. 
Yep, we can do literally all of last year's challenges. I'm not even joking. See, look, I told you I opened the Medieval Kingdom up again for a reason. We can do all of last year's quests in this Medieval Party as well. Cool, right? I know, we can literally do all last year. I know, it's so cool how much I really can put into this. We can head through the lava, do the magma maze, and uh, yeah, let's do it. I cannot believe we can do that. And yeah, oh, hey, there's actually nothing in here. Uh, yeah, why not just do that? It's not like I'm gonna be opening this chest anytime soon, which I won't be. Oh, wow, I actually have both of them in here. Yeah, you know what? Let me just put over all, all this leftover armor just somewhere so I don't lose it. Also, I'm going to do the same with the uh, spawnings as well. I'm literally just going to put them somewhere. There we go. There we go. Now that chest actually has a purpose. Even though it was originally for the key to open that up. And yeah, I actually forgot the enchanted banners were mostly around here. So yep, all of last year's quests can be done here in this party again. Just because, why the heck not? Why the heck not? Just do all of last year's quests. Yeah, I just... I just feel like, yeah, let's just do all of last year's quests. Alright, we already have this. Alright. I always forget this. Three, seven, two, uh, six, five, four, uh, no, no, one, four. Okay. Yep, three, seven, uh, what is it again? Okay, uh, two? Okay, I'm just trying to remember. Okay, uh, six, five, one. Okay, uh... Whoa, it did not mean to do that. Five, one, four! Done! Let's just put it back for the next time I eventually come back here. As who knows the next time I'm gonna uh, eventually uh, come back here. Oh, Alright, uh, let's get that last one. No, 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 seven. Yep, seven. There we go. I'll need that the next time I come back here. So there you go. There's your proof you can still do all last year's challenges. And it's fun, right? Yo! We could have avoided that. There we go. Now, let's make our way over to the castle. Now, since we did this part last year, we don't need to because the castle doors are already open. Yep, King Lapis and Queen Valentine still run this beautiful castle. Yes, you can literally access all rooms of the Medieval Kingdom in this party again, like you could last year. I don't know how many times the Medieval Kingdom has been opened, 
All I know is that it was opened last year in the uh, uh, original Medieval Party. And it was opened again at the uh, third anniversary party of Legos Island earlier this year. And then I think that was actually the last time it was open. Yeah, I think that was actually the last time it was open up until now. Um, and no, Operation LI 2020 Remastered does not count because that was the uh, original time period. Obviously. So the last time this kingdom was opened was the third anniversary party of Legos Island, like... Eight months ago. Wow. I just forgot. Because it's been forever since I've last seen this place, really. Yeah, if we look, the castle... Yeah, look. The castle still looks incredible. See? Yeah, the castle still looks awesome. Anyway, let's just go back down the correct way. Oh, yeah, and this is also where we had the battle last year. But no battle here, because it's all in Legos Island. So, yeah. So, yeah. That's really it for this. Yeah, so we're just leaving the castle because we're done and we can head right back to Legos Island. could have just immediately just flew back over here. The point is, let's head back to Legos Island so we could uh, just go back and just do any of that stuff. So yeah, we're gonna head back to Legos Island. Let's go. Wow, so we spent the, like the last 11 minutes in the uh, uh, Medieval Kingdom. So that was cool. Anyway, now we're back again, and uh, yeah. Well, what I know for a quest, I know exactly what we should do. Uh, you see, what if we, uh, like... What if we, like, took down all the banners in a few rooms and replaced them back with the, uh, original banners? To mark that it's obviously, um, my medieval kingdom. Here on the island. What about that? So, you know what I would do? Um. Uh, what I would do... Is I'm gonna make my own custom medieval banner dedicated to ah, Legos Island. Wait a minute. I already did! I already did! You guys wanna know, right? Get out of here. I made this. <clears throat> Sorry. We are going to make a uh, copy of this banner. See, look. Don't throw out the original banner, and you're good. Now. Um. Um. What we're going to do is we're going to rename this banner. And yes, the theme park will be updated tomorrow, or even in the next quest.
took the Lego that would have been even better. See? Like that. Now, what rooms would we do this way? Well, believe it or not, uh, we are going to be doing this to rooms such as, well, honestly. Oh, okay. So, uh, what we're going to do is I am going to uh, do this to my uh, cave, obviously. Not only that, but we are also going to, well, uh, do it to my balcony as well. And um, the last room we're going to do, and we're going to do three rooms per quest. Okay. How about for this one, we do my cave, balcony, and a bed. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. We gotta put all the banners back. We gotta change them to look like mine. To prove that um, it's actually mine instead of evil Clux. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Let's put that back. Cause that makes the room look a little bit darker. There we go, that is one room down, two to go. Alright, that is two down. Uh, one to go. Yeah, this needs to go back to my kingdom. Go. We have officially uh, changed it. Oh wait. There we go. I think we're done now. There we go. That is three rooms uh, successfully changed back from the uh, the um, the spell. Well, actually not really, because in reality, uh, the rooms are actually going to remain the same all the way up until the event ends. So, yep, that's something. The only difference is that you will see these banners, the blue ones, instead of those, um, no, ugly black ones. Oh yeah, forgot to mention. There we go. And because we completed that quest, we can claim the netherite helmet. Oh, actually, I forgot to mention. The item is actually meant to be available in, like, one of these rooms. But you know what? Let's change it up and only get it from the, you know, quest um, board here. Let's get all the items from the quest board. That'll be the difference. There we go. So now we have a successfully uh, gotten one piece of the armor. So for the next... Three quests, we're gonna get getting the other three pieces of the armor. Basically, we're gonna be suited up to be like the netherite armor. Because let's face it, that's the darkest armor I could find. So, yep, yeah, there we go. That is done. And we are actually done with the quest for today. And actually, with the whole video. So, uh, like and subscribe, guys, because I got a lot more planned for this event. I know that may have seemed like a really easy one. And it was. That's only because it was the first quest. Now, the next few quests, we're going to keep doing three rooms per quest. Because we still got a lot of rooms to change back. Now, the dark elements, such as all those bricks, yeah, those have to stay until the event is over. 
The only thing we will be changing, though, is changing all those black banners to uh, the uh, blue ones. You know, these. So, that's something. So, uh, I'll tell you guys what we're going to be doing in the next quest uh, uh, soon, because I don't know what rooms I'm going to be doing. I'll let you know uh, in uh, tomorrow's Chilling on Super PS episode. And, uh, well, actually, that would be today now, actually. Anyway, the point is, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Or actually, yeah, later, actually, because I'm actually going to upload this when I wake up, actually. So I'll see you all later for Chilling on Super PS. Zoe's up to for finally showing the Halloween party. So sorry about not doing that. But I think today it'll finally work. Um, not only that, but also, uh, well, one of them is actually a surprise. Um, yep, one of the videos tomorrow is a surprise. Again, also, um, I'll, I'll obviously, I'm not going to tell you that one, because of course it would be a surprise, obviously. The other ones, again, are as always up to, uh, chilling on stupid PS, and, um, Actually, that's it. That's it. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Back to your videos. Right, right. Okay, so only four videos tomorrow. Actually, five, including this one. But this would have already been uploaded today anyway. Well, that is it. And I'll see you later.